नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग राम राम वेलकम टू योर ऑन चैनल ए सी एस टू एंड टूडे वी आर हेयर विद द वीडियो ऑफ अ वीकली हॉर्स्कोप प्रडिक्शन फॉर ऑल ट्वेल्व साइंस वीक स्टार्ट इन फ्रॉम फोर्टीन ऑफ जनवरी अप टू ट्वेंटी जनवरी वट इज गोइंग टू हैपन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इवन मकर संक्रांति ऑल्सो इन दिस लेट्स वेलकम आकाश चौहान जी फ्रॉम कैलगरी कैनेडा इज ऑल सेट विद हिज रिसर्च अबाउट दिस सेवन डेज ऑल ट्वेल्व साइंस नमस्कार राम राम नमस्कार रोहित जी राम राम थैंक यू फॉर again bringing this video outside i have been getting lot of messages rohit ji from all the people uh, that <laughs> today someone from nigeria sent uh, one uh, we must be watching also right now they said we do not leave old couple husband and wife they watch uh, they say it is entertaining we love it <laughs> so they don't watch it for the predictions they say it is very entertaining we like it we love it that's why we are watching so i'm like okay so they were sending a photograph of the tv that tv that we enjoy so thank you so much and uh, many people uh, about the weekly thing uh, many messages which i have got is that search start daily also so there is a problem there we cannot start daily because oof man it is so much work and on personal level also i am going to be very busy so that's why hai na rohit ji we uh, Or, yes uh, because when you know the uh, our consultations you the time you provide for the consultation is very important because one consultation can change the life of not one person one family but from that also we get maximum time to make all all transits weekly monthly everything we are making yeah so unfortunately no and also lot of request for hindi i will try my 100% best for hindi so sorry for that Let's start with January fourteenth to twentieth of this uh, January fourteenth to twentieth of this month. Especially, uh, there are two big events happening. Number one is Sun is going to get into Capricorn, and on the other hand, Venus is going to change its sign. So, two major things that are happening. Starting with Aries ascendant, Sun will enter into Capricorn on fifteenth of January. So, Capricorn is where your tenth house in the career area. Sun entering this house is a positive sign. I told you in the only the Makar Sankranti video video of me, you must have seen that this is the time Saturn and Sun said that okay, let's be friends again, and very positive time for all the people. The fifth house lord in the tenth house, career wise, there is going to be some great news, good news for you Monday onwards. Moon enters into Pisces, Rohit ji. Here Moon is entering into Pisces, but it is going to be afflicted by Rahu. So Rahu is in Pisces. So Moon will be in Pisces with Rahu in the twelfth house. Now twelfth house is the house of hospitals or some kind of things related to medical thing. In fact, it is also the house of uh, spirituality expenses. Uh, uh, more than that, um, it is also the hidden house of you know hidden enemies. Uh, I was reading uh, uh, Sarvalli Roiji the book, and it says that whenever Moon and Rahu are together in the twelfth house. such people can you know that that uh, not in transit it is it is written for the general purpose but they said that such people have a lot of problem in sleep so during this period when moon enters into pisces 16th of january till 18th you might have disturbed sleep patterns also lot of worry about something which is not happening or not will not happen so that kind of trouble also you can feel in your heart palpitations so not to worry it is you know moon and rahu together gives little bit of anxiety but on the other hand remember rahu is in your 12th house so monetary money benefit also it gives so that is a positive sign right rohit ji my money benefit you are getting in this current age of lot of you know expenses it is going to be positive <clears throat> there can be some kind of losses at home also because the 4th house lord is in the 12th house so expenses related to home also can happen on from 16 to 18 and then 18 maybe to from a uh, journey yeah maybe from a long distance journey also long distance journey yeah and uh, 5th, uh, 18th of january venus will enter into sagittarius so now venus is the lord of the it's a extreme maraka year and coming to the 9th house second house lord in 9th house and 7th house lord in the uh, you know third from itself little bit of challenge in relationships because see very clearly if you see the concept of bhavat bhavam house from house so venus will be actually sitting third from the seventh house so what does it mean miscommunication in partnerships 
communication gap in partnership and especially there is a possibility also because mars is also sitting there which is the lagna lord mars is a very hot planet it can create some kind of trouble in your relationships and from 18th till uh, on that same day moon also enters into aries roichi so moon has entered into uh, you know in the first house here so moon in aries the this is a very positive sign for moon in aries uh, it is said and research says that whenever moon is with jupiter it is going to create a gaj kesari yog and if you see overall uh, it is not afflicted at all only yes saturn is putting a debilitated aspect on this house but uh, we, uh, jupiter is powerful and moon and jupiter together might give you some very good uh, news in terms of the effort that you have put outside you know a effort that you have put can convert into some kind of greatness that means some great result can come from the effort and then finally end of the week weekend is going to be awesome because moon becomes exalted in aries for everyone moon is getting exalted whenever moon is exalted and especially in the second house you can go out for a very nice dinner for or lunch for a, in a restaurant because second house is the house of food you can try some new cuisines on the other hand there can be good possibility of some uh, uh, what you say some singing some dancing some kind of very very pleasant time this weekend for when moon becomes very positive so gaj after gaj kesari yoga only moon is become positive so that means you will get some positive news and then you will throw a party also so very nice if you are in canada call me also for the party i am really bored now at home but otherwise if we talk about the bigger planets this week uh, jupiter is in your ascendant aspecting the 5th 7th and 9th house so lot of uh, you know lot of new associations good news in partnerships and your destiny is also is working for you even venus getting third from itself you know on 18th of january and going into this ninth sign uh, that is uh, sagittarius it also is positive in terms of venus is not going to do much harm because jupiter is aspecting there so good rahu and ketu are in the 12th and the 6th house 6th house ketu can make your debt go up so be careful before taking any debt and uh, 11th house uh, saturn is in very very good position moving forward uh, in a direct motion in very good nakshatra satvisha so lot of healing lot of lot of good news from your friends also like lot of friends would be coming forward and helping you in some or the other way so a positive week for aries ascendant people there is a whatsapp link in the description you click on it and there will be personal appointment if you want to book you can talk to me about your chart about your experience and you know last week your moon was uh, in your uh, in the 10th house career wise there could have been some kind of movement movement with your father and there could be sudden ups and downs in terms of health also so this was happening last week but this week it is very positive so all the best those who are watching for the first time do subscribe those who have already subscribed thank you so much very very nice very 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 much thank you so for taurus ascendant rohit ji uh, uh, very nice time coming for you because this week moon will get exalted now remember whenever moon is right now you know beginning of the week moon is with saturn and moon and saturn are both aspecting the fourth house for you right rohit akash ji again taurus people are very uh, you know feeling hot today because you know you did not said this is my favorite sign uh, i can't oh, i love taurus but because of this i am in lot of trouble also other ascendant people when they do an appointment they say sir you don't like us because <laughs> we are not taurus or libra but taurus is very very close to my heart i am in love with taurus ascendant very close anyways here yeah. so here moon and uh, uh, saturn are making a wish yog uh, at the moment as, as the week starts and both the places they are looking at the fourth house so fourth house is the house of mother also so little trouble or health wise problem to mother as well as some problem in the home lot of stress no sleep things like that is happening for the last week you know in the last week and things like that maybe some major expenses in the home Uh, related to you know some kind of uh, uh, equipment not working some kind i just have a real life story i have taurus ascendant uh, someone living three doors uh, next to me the girl she called me and said bhaiya 
कैन यू कम होम देर इज सम प्रॉब्लम आई सेट ओके आई गेंट हर सिस्टम हर फर्नेस वॉज नॉट वर्किंग एंड इट इज माइनस फिफ्टी आउटसाइड सो टॉरस पीपल आर she is torus ascendant and see she had to call a technician today at home spend 450 dollars to get the thing done so this is what is happening for torus ascendant people uh, this week so expenses must have been high in the last week now what this week holds for you number 1 is 15th of january sun will enter into capricorn into the ninth house for you destiny house lord of the fourth house in the ninth house now will restore some kind of peace inner peace in you and your destiny will be working in your favor something some relief that you really need will come your way and sun here in the ninth house is the ninth house is the house of current life spiritual spirituality like the spiritual gains of the current life in fact roji this ninth house on the other hand is also the house of communication with your spouse with your uh, what do you say with your uh, loved ones or your business partnerships communication with them so if there is any problem like that there will be com- good communication and inner peace will be restored for you 16th of january moon enters into pisces but moon does not go here alone rahu is sitting there moon is a very fast moving planet very soon it is going to get conjunct with rahu and here uh, it is called grahan yoga again so it is not a very pleasant time and here be careful with some friends or with some commitment that you have done in your social circle that is where there may, there might be some kind of possible hiccup that can come and a um, little bit of defame can come that you say this thing then you never complete such kind of statement you can hear from other people so kind of careful when moon is with uh, rahu but on the other hand rahu here is the is in full power to give you material success is full power to give you gains so taurus ascendant people are going to have a very very beautiful uh, uh, 2024 especially because of the placement of rahu in your chart do you know roji in according to parashara ji when rahu is in the taurus sign it is exalted and now it is in taurus sign it is at the labha bhav that means the house of gains so here also it will give the most benefic results that they can expect very positive then venus enters into sagittarius venus says i am i shall should i be alone i should go and party with mercury and mars here mars is making a vipreet rajyo also that means any trouble that might have come to you last week this week you will find solution also of that so uh, mars is making must have given trouble in specially roji 12th house lord in the 8th house means hospitals doctor medicine Uh, you know tire bursts problem in the car problem in your uh, some kind of resources that you use every day phone lost or some kind of things like phone dead phone not working such kind of things also can happen mercury is also there right roji ji the planet of communication so things like that but positively uh, venus coming here making another vipreet rajyog is going to bring out bring you out of misery and things will be in favor for you then moon enters into aries roji ji in the 12th house making a very special gaj kesari yoga with jupiter this is the time when if it is a very good time for healing by the way because it ashwini nakshatra jupiter right now roji ji and ashwini nakshatra is a nakshatra of healing and for these people taurus ascendant that is lies in the 12th house and where moon and jupiter when they make a gaj kesari yoga that means when they will be together it will be some good healing possibility like whatever troubles they are going through healing this is also the house of losses like not losses it is the called the vay sthan that means the house of expenses so some expenses can be happening in a very positive way which will bring you out of some kind of bigger trouble so moon entering this place with jupiter is a positive sign before i tell about moon in taurus there is a whatsapp link in the description you can you know go and click and comment and you can directly come on the whatsapp and if you want to discuss your chart with me you know, we can book a reading together and then moon enters into taurus and becomes exalted in this chart moon becoming exalted has its own uh, charm but it has own uh, problems also because moon being exalted here puts a debilitated aspect on the 7th house a moon being exalted that means you're emotionally very very satisfied and very strong and you being emotional strong can ma- can make other persons uh, see your moon is strong right in the first lagna right now 
your spouse's moon will be strong somewhere in some kind of houses maybe fourth house that means they will be very close to the mother and where this is where the dispute can happen between you and them so <laughs> exactly this is the time that uh, you need to understand that it is just a very temporary phase in this weekend that if uh, i think both of you spouses should be considering each other's situation if you know that your moon is exalted so moon can create problem in the house that where it looks at like how it is exalted in the lagna it will give you very good uh, power and very good judgment about your own emotions and self and you will be able to make some right big decisions now but because it is looking at the seventh house uh, it is also a challenge in terms of uh, you know relationships somewhere relationship wise you have to be careful partnership wise you have to be careful uh, in fact this is the time that uh, there can be some old like someone very old friend or partner messaging you or texting you trying to because their moon is also exalted right so such kind of misunderstanding should be avoided between married couples if someone comes into your life such way so carefully move forward this is a very positive week in terms of other planetary placements if we talk about uh, you know uh, saturn in the 10th house in the career area so dheere dheere in very slowly slowly your career area is going little bit on the upside rahu in the 11th house going to give you extreme wealth this whole year and next year it's going to be more better when rahu and uh, jo saturn will become conjunct in the 11th house so oh, oh, awesome both will give you very good results in terms of money and uh, uh, jupiter in the 12th house promises lot of spiritual bliss as well as foreign travel for you so all the best uh, those who have subscribed thank you so much those who have not subscribed please subscribe and help us grow grow with us thank you for gemini ascendant people rohit ji uh, now another question which every time people ask and mostly most people in this uh, uh, you know uh, you have to understand the gemini ascendant means your lagna sign not your rashi so many people who are gemini moon also listen to this so don't listen if you are yeah, gemini moon it's okay roji hai na roji it will not give you 100% result but uh, gemini ascendant if you see the rising sign then it is 100% then it is 100%. but for the moon sign you if uh, you know confused and you like moon sign you can listen this uh, so many things 50% or more than 50% will resemble with you but go for ascendant it's we are so making special video on this ascendant and moon sign if you have any doubt you can go and write down your full birth details rohit ji always watches he can reply you your ascendant so hena rohit ji this can help everyone who does not know what to look at i do chart reading they say oh i have been seeing uh, pisces i said no your gemini man pisces is your moon sign rising sign has the ra- rising so the chart rising sign does not change ever rashi can be like for gemini people rashi can be thousands here everyone can have any rashi so for gemini ascendant people here sun is entering into capricorn on 15th of uh, january before that i just want to tell you that you know in your ninth house especially last week a uh, moon and uh, saturn made a wish you problem trouble trouble could have been come through either travel through your father through your some kind of thing related to uh, mentor something some kind of trouble might have come uh, which i can sense here for gemini ascendant people but sun is enters into capricorn and sun is entering into the 8th house for you very very nice uh, uh, in a way because the third house lord is in the 8th house uh, there is a good time this is a good time for uh, you know unleashing your you know go inside and unravel some kind of communication skills that can create some pave some good way out of for you in the future so sun entering this house uh, it is a 8th house eh? everyone will say oh it is bad this and that but no the third house lord is in the 8th house so that means some kind of hidden communication skills you will learn during this time when sun is here in the 8th house then moon enters into pisces moon is in the 10th house making a very special yog with uh, ket uh, rahu because rahu is in the 10th house as well and remember rahu jiske 10th mein duniya uske bas mein those who have rahu in the 10th house they will have world at their feet but when not with moon when moon and rahu conjunct this is the time you can have some trouble or some bad news in your Uh, career area in your area related to your work career where you have to be careful may don't make major decisions during this week or don't ask for raise otherwise they will say okay go 
then uh, venus enters into sagittarius venus here is the lord of the 5th house and the 12th house going in the 7th house means that there can be some kind of uh, new spark in relationship 5th house lord in the in the 7th 12th house lord in the 7th that means some kind of partnerships from foreign country also or some kind of news that you are awaiting from a foreign country can come or some old friend or ex girlfriend or boyfriend of yours may call you or contact you from a foreign country this is can happen so um, venus is also a positive uh, you know movement this year this uh, week move moving on moon will enter into aries and moon is entering into the 11th house of your social circle of the people around you of your goals of your higher uh, ambition this is that house here when jupiter and moon comes that means you will be able to achieve some unexpected goal no one must have thought that you will achieve this but you will go either a step closer or you will be achieving it during this time because it is one of the most auspicious yog for moon to be with jupiter they have their so it is so beautiful roji moon and jupiter both have their differences but on the other hand they also whenever they are together they will give one of the best results ever that is how it seen later uh moon will become exalted in the 12th house not a very pleasant place you know mercury has given his father the 12th house of expenses and trouble and hidden enemies problem trouble jail any kind of hospitals any kind of um, mental asylums this is the uh, this is the you know we uh, people say so ji lot of questions i have where people say oh you know what i am depressed i have anxiety i have depression so every time the 12th house has a role in that 5th house and 12th house have the role in that 5th house is the house of brain 12th house is the house of that brain going crazy so hamesha ye dono ka hi khel hai bhai and you know why why roji ji tell me why because the 12th house is also i think house of isolation 12th house is the 8th from the 5th 8th from the 5th that means uh, creativity dies here or in the depth means yes creativity dies here there not more than creativity a uh, lot of trouble it happens here roji see the both the lords are also the same venus and venus is sitting yeah third from itself third from it yeah, that's why i told you some long person who has gone away will come and exalted planet is always not very good by the way uh, yeah. never good i think you say i never seen any exalted planet chart with the happy people always yeah. say oh four exalted planets i see in one chart and you know, i can't explain about the person and four debilitated planet i saw in a chart and a person has everything so this is kalyug kalyug man yes so here uh, moon getting exalted here in the 12th house not pleasant time for your inner peace and happiness there can be some expenses un unexpected expenses that can come which can cause uh, more anxiety so ye weekend mein best thing to do is to spend money on charity and that charity does not mean oh there is one more instance i want to tell you i was talking to a client and i am like you know you should help uh, kids and you know uh, i do lot of charity i do lot of volunteering i like okay what do you do i uh, i have taken up a i have taken up a membership of a, of a, some organization and i donate like 10 dollars every month it's not about the value of the money 10 dollars every month and i am like okay what do they do they feed hungry children in africa i'm like okay have you seen what is the organization i took i saw that the ceo of the organization the ceo of the organization make 200000 dollars a year like that is his salary and they are feeding hungry people so this big organizations their ceos make the money the, the donation that you give is for the salary of the ceos and the uh, things like that so where rather than doing that buy a bread put some cut some cucumber and some uh, tomato make some sandwiches pack it and go and hand it over that is charity that is real spirituality not going online and saying oh i am doing this aisa bhi hai log so this is what you need to do during this week that spend money is going to be spent anyhow so it is better to make sure that you buy stuff come cook give some 10 15 uh, people some kind of food your money is also spent 
your karma is also developed so everything is going to be in your favor that is how you have to you know tackle situations when you know that your money expenses is going to come those who are going to moon dasha and antar dasha be very careful in terms of legal or in with the government some kind of issues can come in that area so you might get suddenly get some a ticket at home that you have to pay this much fine so careful in that area okay spirituality me kharcha karo otherwise you will have to go to a hospital to do kharcha but overall uh, positive uh, other other uh, placements are very positive uh, jan 14 till 20th whatsapp link is in the description for personal appointments those who are watching for the first time do subscribe those who have already subscribed thank you so much thank you now moving on to roichi kahan gaya cancer ascendant now cancer ascendant here moon is the lagna lord and in the 8th house right now and that too with saturn making a wish yog many people might have experienced some kind of problem like in the stomach area or maybe loose motions poison food poisoning or uh, some kind of pain in the lower abdomen area or some kind of uh, inflammation uh, in the stomach can be possible urine infections could have happened in the last week now this time sun enters into capricorn in the on the 15th of january sun is entering into the 7th house 7th house second house maraka coming into the maraka house is little bad for health but very good for status in the society you will develop some status and which can give you some money monetary benefit moon enters into pisces now moon here roji uh, the lagna lord is getting into the 9th house very auspicious right roji but it is sitting with rahu so what can it do it can keep you or take you bring you away from dharma that means you can do some kind of unethical practice you can do some kind of cheating that you should not do important very important no cheating okay then uh, it is also the ninth house uh, moon and rahu together if is this house is properly activated or you are going through moon or rahu dasha Uh, you there can be big long distance foreign travel also for you so kind of positive time only but expenses hoye gan expenses will be there then jo venus is entering into sagittarius now venus is the lord of the it's a yoga karka kind of a planet only roj for cancer ascendant after so mars is extreme yoga karka second in line is venus only owner of the fourth house of inner peace happiness and owner of the 11th house of gains sitting in the sixth house uh, uh sixth house is eighth from the 11th वो जी लेग्स में प्रॉब्लम इन लेग्स कैन कम नंबर वन प्रॉब्लम्स इन काफ सडनली योर लेग कैन गेट ट्विस्टेड एंड पेन एंड दिस एंड दैट बिकॉज इट इज सिटिंग विद मार्स एंड मार्स एंड वीनस दैट मीन सम काइंड ऑफ पिंपल्स सडनली सम काइंड ऑफ पिंपल्स कमिंग ऑन योर बॉडी ऑन योर स्किन प्रॉब्लम ट्रबल सिटिंग विद मर्करी सो नॉट अ प्लेजेंट प्लेसमेंट ऑफ वीनस इन द सिक्स हाउस फॉर यू या बिकॉज ओनली प्रॉब्लम इज दैट नंबर वन the fourth house lord sitting third from itself so what does it mean it means struggle in communication in the home area in your home and the 11th house lord sitting in eighth from the 11th house again what does and it according, mean and according to kal purush kundli venus is also debilitated here yeah according to kal purush kundli yes if you go, go by lal kitab it is debilitated Red, yes. not in power hmm. so it will always and especially sitting with mars roji ji and mercury mercury is making vipreet rajya very nice but uh, mm-hmm. uh, not positive man maybe in workplace uh, he can encounter some you know uh, female aggressive female related problem so yeah, should be cat fight cat fight happening mm-hmm. female female also can fight mm-hmm. some kind of injury also can show like some kind of uh, that's why i told you pimple and all can happen because whenever venus and mars are together such people have lot of trouble related to um, acne Hmm. and the only way to get out of this acne is by blood donation nothing else um moon enters into uh, aries rohit ji and it is making it will be making a very big vipreet uh, sorry gaj kesari yog in the in the kendra especially in the kendra rohit ji it is more uh, uh, effective in the kendra and here in the kendra it is going to be with um, uh, jupiter and jupiter is the lord here if we see jupiter lord of the 6th house and lord of the 9th house right that means it looks after your destiny also and your daily workplace also and it is sitting in the career house for you so there is going to be some very good positive news from your career extremely good news from your career those who are looking for a job may be joining the job or may get an offer letter this week and once it comes you should come come uh, comment below and let us know that 
end of the week before in listening to the other week that what happened and later on venus will and uh, moon will enter into taurus and become exalted now here moon is the lagna lord 11th house is very auspicious when moon is sitting 11th from the lagna it is going to make sure that your biggest and biggest dreams that you had may fulfill or may there may be first step towards fulfillment in that area if we talk about bigger planets uh, uh, saturn is in the 8th house sudden ups and downs house uh, it is a dushtana not a very good place and planets like saturn give very good results here so saturn is positive for you at the moment those are going through sari sati little bit difficult challenge period for them in terms of uh, sari sati in the 8th house my wife is going that's why i know from the time sari sati has started and second phase i'm telling because because of any reason she is just tired what am i what are you doing i am tired why i don't know i am tired so it maybe she is pregnant that's why also but before pregnancy also she was tired only so ye it makes you very lazy man during this time and you feel like you just want to leave everything and go away aisa feel hota hai sare saath ki those who are going through cancer ascendant on the other hand are very emotional people also do right? their moon is a very emotional planet so emotion wise they are very high and uh, you need lot of company of other people to um, be more happy that is what cancer ascendant people says about you so overall nice week bigger planets are going good also um, mercury is also doing good by making a vipreet rajyog some money from foreign country or you know gains from stock market also is seen because rohit ji the fifth house lord has gone sixth so that is positive all the best man very very great uh, week for you hopefully those who want to talk to me personally whatsapp link is in the description for personal appointments description go and click we will come here then we will talk all the appointments are for february because baby is coming to my house all the best those who have subscribed thank you those who are subscribing awesome leo ascendant now rohit sun is the lagna lord and lagna lord is now going into the 6th house what does this mean that there can be some kind of debt that will come to you or on the other hand there can be also another possibility of some health issues for leo ascendant in the 6th house rohit ji uh, in a positive way it will make sure that you become very busy in your workplace but uh, other than that lagna lord going into the 5th 6th house is not a positive sign rohit ji so it is if you say want to say that lagan lord is going to 6000 you have to take you know loan for yourself so i think the smart way is this that take your credit card buy t shirt or jeans for you this is a loan from the bank and you have spend on yourself this is most smart way i think we in canada every minute we are surviving on credit card only <laughs> so every <laughs> no, on india also. in india also this is same you're taking loan every day that is what is happening my to dasha is not ending only of loan every day i think i today i will not spend anything and i will just go out and do nothing i go out and i come back and 500 dollars gone <laughs> maybe to life ka story alag hai anyways here uh, this is the time that your debt can increase and enemies also yeah and health can be your enemy as well so discipline is the number one rule for this time house of saturn man saturn demands discipline but this the debt that you take during this period may give you gains also because you are the lord of the 6th house is in the 7th house so it means that it will be positive death death no debt so sun is here then moon enters into pisces moon will enter into pisces in the 8th house now 12th house lord in the 8th house makes a vipreet raj yoga but again with rahu and this is the time again what happened with uh, uh, virgo people can happen with you is stomach problem in stomach problem in um, uh, stomach infection stomach problems health problems hospitals some kind of hospital going to hospital back and forth uh, someone in the family could be sick that also can happen uh, you will be very anxious worried or uh, there can be uncertainty that is what is going to happen for you as in people this week because moon 12th house lord is going into the 8th house here but this if there are any uh, possibility of getting shared resources any possibility of getting uh, some money from insurance this is a positive time for you you might get something like that so that is positive 
then moon enters into then venus the lord of your communication the lord of your destiny uh, sorry the lord of your career enters into the fifth house of starting new things and um, there can be new beginnings also here from 16th of uh, from 18th of january new beginnings some new ideas that can come to you creativity wise you will be awesome but communication with children communication related uh, with uh, uh, you know your mother should be very much uh, positive like you, it should you should keep very positive this is a time that you support your kids this is also the time that um, there can be uh, challenges in siblings also there can be some communication disturbance in siblings but again you have to take action into it in terms of your uh, in terms of uh, we speak about your career so venus will be sitting 10th uh, 8th from the 10th house so sudden ups and downs can happen in the career so careful in that area but new beginnings may lead to good news in the future struggle will be there but converting into happiness then moon enters into aries january 18 2024 making a very special yog that is gaj kesari yog in your ninth house getting some kind of blessings from god like if there is lot of big problems going on in the area related to communication with siblings trouble with wife problem in getting some money from inheritance or uh, you know insurance or from your workplace this is the time you can expect 18th of january onwards and moon and jupiter are together you can get some blessings directly from god like out of nowhere you will be able to come out of the problem so it is positive planets you know when they are in when they put you into trouble there is another planet sitting there to help you immediately to get you out of it so have faith in god and then moon enters into taurus into the 10th house taurus this is the sign where moon becomes exalted and uh, this exalted moon will make sure that in your career area there is some big news big growth or big breakthrough that you will looking through or big would uh, you know i know uh, my there is a very sweet girl from uk follows us very regularly she lost her job few weeks ago i told her that she is going to get her job very soon so maybe this is the time that your interview clicks and you will get a job because moon is coming to the 10000 exalted and you are already in a foreign country that means a foreign planet is helping you in the career that 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 uh, day is like 20th like next week not next week after the week of 20th there can be some good news that you can hear in your job job work area all the best man if we talk about bigger planets like saturn in the 7th house it is the time of you to get some kind of uh, what you say uh, designation so that is also positive uh, rahu in the 8th house transforming you daily ketu in the 2nd house uh, making sure that you know, make sure that your speech is very very to the point because ketu can make you also speak headlessly and that can cause a little bit of challenge and trouble in your life you know so careful WhatsApp link is in the description below for personal appointments. You click on it, you will be coming directly to the WhatsApp, and we can talk. On the other hand, uh, there is also uh, please subscribe, you know, so that we can become bigger family. This last year we almost reached thirty-eight. Now we want to reach hundred thousand this year. So you can only do it. We cannot keep subscribing, right? You have to subscribe and help us get going. All the best. now virgo ascendant people roj what's happening sun is entering into capricorn now sun is entering into the fifth house the 12th house lord in the fifth house so foreign related studies or foreign related any kind of assignments or any foreign related partnerships or someone from a foreign country whom you love might show up and things can be very much smooth and or whatever happening related to foreign land expenses can be positive so nice time whenever uh, sun is in fifth house it is in the kal purush kundli this is the pure uh, what you say energy of sun only here so sun gives very good results here no matter the sign then moon enters into pisces it is going to be making a conjunction with uh, rahu and rahu and moon conjunction means grahan grahan means eclipse and that is the time it's not going to eclipse eclipse for sure but it is called eclipse yoga and this is the time that uh, you can expect some kind of or uh, trouble in your relationships or partnerships or some kind of contract signing or things like that there can be some in some areas of like this there can be trouble but on the other hand if you are 
if you're thinking about getting some big status in your life, this is the time that you will get status because Moon and Rahu together also are not very bad. They do good also. So their good part here will be regarding status in the society. The bad part will be misunderstanding between partners, partners, spouses. That can happen. Then Venus enters into Sagittarius. Venus is the second house lord here and the ninth house lord. Very auspicious uh, for this chart. Going into the uh, third house of inner peace, but it means that inner peace can be disturbed. Your destiny will not work with you. This is also what it means. Second house lord, speech house lord, in the third house, sitting third from itself with Mars, with Mercury, with the Mercury making very good, uh, nice yoga here, but uh, Venus is not. And Venus is not comfortable in uh, Sagittarius. So there can be some kind of disturbance that can be created by you and yourself only and your mouth only. And you will not get right mentor advice also during this time because the ninth house lord is sitting eighth from itself. So there can be some kind of confusion or some kind of misunderstanding in that area also or maybe miscommunication. That is what it tells you during this period. So be careful. Do not take any uh, anything very seriously or do anything. Take any decisions very seriously during this time related to your home, home life, family life, mother or your real estate. Okay, Not anything like that. Then moon enters into Aries. This is a very nice time because moon is entering into the 8th house here and making a, a very awesome yoga of uh, what you say. Um, guru and uh, moon together. I forgot Ruiji how. Gaj Kesri Yoga. Crazy. Guru and moon together. Gaj Kesri. I was thinking something very nicely. That oh it is going to what inheritance by something. Or actually there are hundreds of yoga in astrology. Hundreds of conjunctions, combinations, drishtis. And when you explain things like this only from dates. You know you dig into something. So many things. So it is very difficult to. Yeah. I don't write anything right. And keep that over. Yes. That. It is all there. I, according to my research, what I feel is right, as I say. Uh, so here, the Gaj Kesri Yoga is especially happening into your 8th house. So that means anything that has to come from partnership, any partnership that has to say yes, finally they have to say yes and sign the document, uh, it can happen. And that is that the continuation happens when moon enters into Taurus and becomes exalted. So the 11th house Lord is exalted in the 9th house. Sitting 11th from itself means a bigger gain or the a step closer to a bigger gain that you were supposed to happen will happen. Or if you take consideration of bigger planets, your Lagna is occupied by Ketu. So, you know, Virgo ascendant uh, this year can you can make a lot of headless decisions also. And especially the work area because a bigger planet, the Saturn is sitting there in the sixth house. Uh, that means very slow development will happen and that is where you will get frustrated and you want to take headless decisions which will cause long term troubles. Seventh house Rahu is there. So partnership, there can be a lot of illusion. But on the other hand, those who are very good placement of Rahu in your chart can also make sure that the relationship, bad to bad relationship starts becoming very better. So this is how planets act, man. There is no... Like you have to see the chart very, very deeply, nicely to understand what is happening. But overall, good time. Uh, those who are watching for the first time, do subscribe. Those who have already subscribed, thank you. There's a WhatsApp link in the description. If you click on it, you will directly come on the WhatsApp and you can have a personal appointment with me. Libra Ascendant. So now, before Rohitju tells me, I will tell Libra is my favorite, one of the best. I love it. There is no one else that I love, Libra and Taurus. But Libra more. So, done, Rohitji. Rohitji, okay? No, I am very happy. Yeah, because... Okay, I am very happy now. Otherwise, Libra people will say that, oh, you did not say lucky, happy, love, is that. Libra is one of the best. All the Libra girls are so beautiful, man. Yeah, they have two or three degrees of Venus uh, in not in the right position, but otherwise they are very beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. So for Libra ascendant people, Sun will enter into Capricorn in the fourth house, the eleventh house Lord in the fourth house. There can be some good news in travel, or maybe there can be some uh, good gains in the home life. Like you can spend a lot of good time with your family. That is what is going to happen. On the other hand, Moon enters into Pisces into the sixth house. Your Moon is entering. With Rahu, there can be sudden enemies that can come up. 
there can be certain people in the workplace that can do against you or do something bad uh, for you so be keep a tab be uh, very very uh, vigilant because it can cause a problem in your workplace and you can have some losses also health wise be careful because again this is the area of your upper stomach the upper intestine in like the lower intestine upper intestine the upper intestine and that is where there can be some inflammation or problems because Ra K rahu is the po uh, planet of poisoning so for food poisoning kind of stuff or some overeating that you do which will help have problem in your stomach area then venus enters into capricorn now venus enters into sagittarius now venus is the lagna lord sitting third from itself will make you make sure that you do extreme hard work but also means that there can be some short distance travel or dis travel for a very short period of time which will make sure that your expenses go up so that is what is going to happen but sudden option now again health wise you have to be careful especially any kind of uh, you know mostly food poisoning man this is what i can see when Ket rahu is in the 8th house then moon enters into aries here things become better from 18th of january because moon and uh, jupiter will be making a gaj kesari yoga in your 7th house which will make sure that your status in the society goes up there is going to be some new partnerships new signing of deals new job things like that and then moon enters into taurus into the 8th house roichi 8th house is the house of you know sudden ups and downs problem emotional up and down but it means that gains from partnerships when moon is here exalted there is going to be some very good gains in partnerships and especially from your work area so it's a very positive week for all the libra ascendant people those who are watching for the first time do subscribe those who have already subscribed thank you so much whatsapp link is in the description click on it and you will talk to samantha and you can book a appointment for your future reading scorpio ascendant people roichi now sun the lord of the 10th house is entering the third house what does it mean very very special time for communication in the work area this is the time that personally if you feel something that you need to ask and demand you should do it now, very nice overall if you see moon and saturn together so last week must not have been very good in the family life in the house house life or maybe health of your mother could have been affected during that time uh, or maybe expenses in the home area suddenly some expense must have come that could have happened so this is what happened with the scorpio person people last week but now sun entering into the third house means you have to be very open communicative about your goals or about your uh, uh, role in your work area that you can get good answer that that in that area moon enters into pisces and it is going to be making a yoga with rahu and moon together so extremely careful about your children about education this is the time people will feel like don't want to study that is the kind of you know uh, what we, what we say they will have such kind of illusion in their mind that does not matter i don't want to study even if some people may might forget their uh, exams or exams date because of the illusion or the other trouble that they might start here so if there is anything that you need to be remember like that oh this is what i need to do on this date i have decided so you go for it and that is going to bring you positive results in the future but kids wise you have to be careful education wise you have to be careful and if you are starting up new things you have to just hold on right now do not do it till 20th of january then later venus will enter into sagittarius the 12th house lord is sitting in the second house now so there is going to be expenses that means from the bank balance of yours you will have to spend some money outside and once you spend it write down that sir suddenly this came and I had to spend it and especially related to health or related to your female spouse both of the ways places you have to spend some money later moon enters into aries here moon and jupiter will make gaj kesari yoga very very nice yoga for moon to be here with jupiter there is going to be some very positive news in your work area and if uh, there is some trouble going on your colleagues might come as a very safety or savior for you and help you here uh also foreign country if there is any kind of uh, you know work that you need to do in a foreign country that will also happen and you know this is this is how it is continuing that it goes to the 7th house that is again related to uh, foreign country because the owner of the 7th and the 12th house is the same venus going into the second house of speech so moon getting exalted here may give you some recognition from foreign country or may help you to get some uh, some happiness in the relationship area of your life but personally you will be not happy during this week and mostly weekend somewhat something might be bothering you that is what it means because 
moon is going to put an aspect on the lagna that means on the ascendant here it says that something you know something is missing kind of feeling you will have but nothing is missing man you have fourth house uh, inner peace your yoga karka planet jo uh, that is saturn is in your fourth house right now in direct motion in very very good position in satvisha nakshatra nakshatra of rahu it, that means inner peace will come permanently but slowly secondly your uh, rahu is in your fifth house you know i know when rahu and moon are together don't do any plan any startup or make any khayali pulao that means some kind of food in your mind which you cannot eat it's better to just postpone it till the time moon now enters uh, taurus then this is the time to make decisions make plans and say okay let's go for it so this is what is happening for you in this week i hope that uh, this week bring brings you a lot of happiness success love whatever you need very nice oh i just forgot when moon is here rohit ji this is also the house of love and romance this is the time that moon can create some misunderstanding in love and romantic uh, relationships also some very major misunderstanding when moon and rahu are together emotionally there is going to be some setback that you can get so careful huh? all the best those who are watching for the first time do subscribe there is a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments please please subscribe don't take personal appointment that's okay but subscribe Okay, Sagittarius ascendant, Rohit. Now, Sagittarius ones. First of all, the good news is that their beginning of the year has become very nice because of their Lagna lot getting direct into the fifth house, restoring lot of happiness and creativity in that area that they are looking for. Especially those who are planning for kids might have had kid birth, child birth already done, or might be just conceiving. So. very very congratulations to you sun is entering into capricorn that means into your second house the ninth house lord in the second house that means from destiny you will get some kind of wealth destiny wise wealth is going to come to you or maybe from your family you can get some if you need some wealth or help in terms of monetary help you will get it uh, sun sitting in the second house means it is sitting on your tongue right now so you can become a hot you can say something wrong to other people just avoid being very aggressive beginning of this month uh, beginning of this week moon and uh, saturn are also together so this means that there could have been problem in your uh, some kind of friends and you must have fight have a had a fight or maybe some problem in the neighborhood areas or your shoulder might have hurt there could have been problem in your shoulder or your neck also uh, that shows when saturn and moon are together some kind of things like that could have happened so if that is the case uh, it is going to now get better because moon is entering into pisces but here it enters into the fourth house where already rahu is here what is rahu rahu is an illusion planet and sitting with moon both are enemies and when they sit together it is an eclipse what can happen here there can be some kind of eclipse like situation in your home family life where something some very major misunderstanding happens or your problem with your mother's health also can happen where suddenly you have to rush her to a clinic or a, take a doctor's appointment or things like that on the other hand fourth house is also the house of your uh, repair of your home or your car suddenly your you must be i think watching this and saying that you know my car needs a repair there is cutter cutter avas some kind of voice coming in or your house may have leakage or problems have trouble expenses is going to happen man sudden ups and downs is going to happen in the home area personal space area later and what we need to do about it and i someone asked sir so you only keep saying that this can happen that can happen. what do we do about it only one remedy in the world that you can do every day is vishnu sahasra naam there is no other thing more than it or less than it vishnu sahasra naam has the power for you to accomplish any grah dosh any problem anything you think this is evil pitra dosh that dosh this dosh kal sarp dosh mangalik dosh everything Vishnu Sahasranam has the power to mitigate the ill effects of planet up to hundred percent. So have faith in Vishnu Sahasranam. Do it. Later, uh, Venus, the Lord of the eleventh house, comes into the lagna. The Lord of the sixth house comes into the lagna. So here, uh, careful. You know why? Because Venus is sitting third from the eleventh and eighth from the sixth. So sudden uh, trouble and problem in your uh you know some kind of fight with or some enemy may might come suddenly and you can become little bit weak here like with 
someone trying to confront you face you or someone trying to you you may be avoiding someone during this period in simple way your personality or the aura of your personality becomes a little weak when uh, venus enters the lagna here but moon on the other hand is going to make sure that those who are going through moon dasha antar dasha jupiter antar dasha maha dasha a very very nice time for them and especially moon is sitting fifth from mars rohit ji i told you that there is whenever moon will sit fifth from mars that is the day you have to conceive if that day you do it you will conceive so it is a positive uh, uh, sign for those people who are trying to uh, either propose to a girl either conceive or either doing iva for things like that if they have a option of choosing the date of uh, uh, what we say 18th of january uh, it is going to be positive for them later on moon will enter into taurus into the 6th house making a vipreet raj yog as well as also getting into an exalted position now moon here roji 8th house lord sitting 11th from itself will give you sudden gains suddenly some kind of positive news can come but it is also aspecting the 12th house and in that excitement <laughs> so there are two ways people get heart attack either they someone says oh you won 2 2 million lottery you heart, die of heart attack or either you someone says there is a 2 million claim from a court that has come on your name so you die of heart attack so there are two things which can happen okay. so moon can give you very good results if you are going through a, if you have a good moon placement in terms of getting some good news for you or it can give you bad news from some litigation or some trouble because of the aspect on the 12th house of sudden expenses also so depends on your chart all only so but in the workplace it is going to be pleasant in the uh, in the health it is going to be better so positive also negative also every planet is brahma vishnu mahesh has a possibility of creating preserving and destroying every planet we only blame saturn and rahu and ketu that they are bad they are the most wonderful planets ever planets very pious planets like uh, sun mars they are very cruel a planet that means they are very aggressive they are malefic they are just parashara calls them malefic forget about us who are we lord parashara sage parashara calls sun malefic sun has the power to separate you has power to burn you so okay anyways one more thing roji about research i heard and medical astrology while reading those people who are suffering from arthritis and lot of joint pains they should eat lot of jaggery you know uh, uh, good jaggery the brown one they will it will help because it mitigates the malefic effects of sun and that is how you gain a uh, lot of bone health in the body whatsapp links in the description for appointment those who are watching for the first time thank you so much uh, do subscribe please come back we do this every week all the best capricorn ascendant so i was doing a appointment with one of the uh, client and now a very 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 dear friend she is in uk she told me uh, one day when you uh, while calling rohit ji you called rahu ji <laughs> she said i still laugh on it so much that i can't even explain very pretty very nice very sweet girl i think she also has capricorn ascendant that's why i remember her here roji you know, for capricorn ascendant people um, um, uh, sun is in the lagna right now and lagnesh the sun in the lagna uh, means the lord of the 8th house is in the first house so there can be some kind of secret that could be revealed or some secret from which you can benefit or gain from that so uh, this is the time roji you can manipulate other people or uh, blackmail also because you know someone else is secret you will be able to get lot of uh, things out of them so positive time but here sun makes you a little bit egoistic because it is in the lagna right it makes you a little bit more egoistic so try to be nice calm with your family with your you know people around you because this is very temporary but the damage that you will do will be permanent okay so all the gusta all the krodh lobh they are all temporary but the effect that you get from it is permanent moon enters into pisces so moon is entering uh, into the third house 
third house is not a very very positive sign for moon and rahu rahu for it is rahu very good it gives you a lot of sporty uh, things but third house problem with siblings younger siblings or problem in your uh, in, in your local neighbor neighborhood neighbor area or with very very immediate friends some kind of problem in communication as well as some kind of commitment problems that can happen in this week people can ask a lot of commitment from you you will say no i am not doing it and communication will not be right and that is where things can turn against you but not permanent because jupiter or uh, venus is entering into the 12th house for you venus the owner of the 5th house the owner of the 10th house in this in the 12th house it's an extreme yoga karta planet for capricorn and aquarius people and for all the people of taurus and libra saturn is the yoga karta planet so this is how they have chosen each other in the 12th house expenses related to your either your business or either your children will happen there can also okay. be chances that you will be going abroad or traveling you can go to a foreign country yes rohit ji you are telling something hello rohit ji you are saying something no i am saying that uh, why capricorn have all dif- difficult placements only why capricorn has to suffer i just can't you know my heart says from inside <laughs> <laughs> this is true rohit ji because capricorn i don't know if every time i make anything there is some kind of i all, i hundred things i say <laughs> in day time no capricorn only in bad things <laughs> <laughs> sorry rohit ji but <laughs> but i hope last two transits of this plate will you will say some good things <laughs> <laughs> so it is not up to me to say good things this is how planets are here right if it is oh, bad yeah. it is bad <laughs> now venus the lord of your the yoga karka planet of your chart is going into the 12th house what can i do <laughs> it is gone mercury is making vipreet rajyog suddenly you know in travel you will have problems and that is what might have happened Uh, mars uh, you know the lord of the 4th house the lord of the 11th house is sitting in the 12th house so expenses in your home and expenses in uh, you know your social area things are happening like that what can i do capricorn people have to always be in struggle man this is why uh, god chose you to give capricorn but the power also has been given to capricorn to overcome any kind of uh, troubles also so so if the trouble will come but you will be overcoming it <laughs> 12th house venus also says that there can be uh, again foreign connection or uh, spent trying to uh, spending in foreign country or maybe some kind of baggage or some kind of thing that you left out in foreign country you have to pay for it such kind of things can also happen so hope for the best best is to be spiritual because 3 3 lines are sitting in the 12th house of your in, in, inside you that means go in, inside you and be spiritual during this time then moon enters into aries now here it makes a judge case three a very very positive time for capricorn ascendant people from 18th of the half mid of 18th because venus is entering there but on the other hand moon and jupiter those are going through jupiter and moon mahadasha very nice for them uh, it is going to be a uh, time of a uh, little bit expenses but happy expenses as well as uh, there can be some good auspicious event at home maybe a puja maybe some kind of uh aradhana some kind of you know good good gesture in the home maybe some good guest would come and you will be very happy that kind of things can happen and then the best time for capricorn ascendant people is when the 7th house lord will become exalted in the 5th house love romance uh kids creativity happiness you will be actually happy inside like there will be some big ac- accomplishment that you must have done during this time in in this week rohit after so much hard work hard troubles what will happen is that moon will come in good position and you will be able to solve everything and then say yes once again all the bad time is gone so this is what is going to happen for capricorn ascendant people if you talk about bigger planets rahu is in your third house extreme courage lot of good uh, you know uh, your you're not you're always ready to do extra hard work go extra mile this is happening and ketu in the ninth house uh, spiritual wise spirituality wise very nice getting higher education in spirituality good for you um 
because Jupiter is in the fourth house right now, so there can be expansion in areas related to getting a vehicle or getting some kind of things like that. So that is also a positive sign for you. So overall, great time for Capricorn Ascendant people in the second half of the week, not the first half. <laughs> WhatsApp link is in the description. Uh, click for personal appointments. Luji, don't cry. You will get good results. Yes. <laughs> Aquarius ascendant people. So, for the beginning of the week, if you see uh, in your lagna, there is uh, Saturn and Moon together. Now, if you go back and see the past week, uh, there could have been problems created by you, your own self only. And uh, consciously, whenever we create any problem, Rohitji, or we do anything wrong, we know that we have done something wrong. We feel and we try to give 10,000 justifications to other people. No, no. Uh, this is why I did it. I was right. And this and that. You know, if someone else is not talking to you or some friend is not talking to you, you will also not talk to them. Uh, and you will later say that I tried to, you know, get into uh, what we say. I tried to get into your conversations with you, but you ignored me and such kind of. You will try to justify. But evil is in there in your mind also. That is how the human psychology is. Now, this is the kind of same combination that was happening for Aquarius Ascendant people last week. Then uh, Moon and Saturn were together. So you could have had a factor of jealousy or factor of poison in your brain for someone else. That could have happened. It's not like I'm saying it must have happened only. That could have happened depending on the placement of your Saturn and Moon in your chart. But if that happened, this is a time to come out of it. Because Moon is entering into Pisces and getting with Rahu. Rahu is the planet of illusion. And when moon and this is a this is the house of speech. Everything is in process, right? So now you have to speak up. If you have done anything wrong, try to confess it. This will create some problem and rift between you and that person or something, some relationship wise. But it will also help you to become a better human being, be more spiritual. Whenever Rahu is in the second house, it gives you immense wealth and opportunities to gain immense wealth. When moon is here, you have to understand the sixth house lord is in the second house, in a maraka house. It will create health problems, especially in your mouth area. Suddenly your teeth, your lips, your uh, sorry, your lips will become bad or some kind of problem in your tongue or some kind of, uh, you know, infection in your teeth. Or second house is the eye. You can go to eye uh, hospital doctors related to eyes. So many things can happen like that for you. And if you see sun in the 12th house in the on your left eye and moon in the right eye. So eyes is the main focus this week. Be careful about in the beginning of the week. Some kind of eye, eye dryness, eye trouble, conjunctivitis, things like that can happen. Because whenever moon and Rahu are together, some kind of poisoning happens. Now, second house is also the house of taste. We, what we eat in the mouth. Here... Moon and Rahu together can also cause poisoning in the mouth. Or maybe, you know, very stupid it will sound, Roji, what I'm saying. But you take a uh, cup of tea and you just drink and suddenly your mouth will get burned. You know, that also things can happen. So be careful and aware of what you're putting in your mouth. Okay. <laughs> Later, <clears throat> Venus will enter into uh, Sagittarius. Now, Venus is the lord of the fourth house and the lord of the ninth. House. So it is extreme yoga karka. Kendra and Trikona owner in the 11th house will give you gains, but after a lot of struggle, after a lot of research. This is what it is, tells about the Aquarius Ascendant people that only with research and only with struggle, you will be able to achieve your goal during this period. Destiny wise, nothing is happening. Then Moon enters into the third house and this is the time Moon is making a Gaj Kesri Yoga. This is the time of communicating awesomely, like very, very positively, very, very in no fear with anyone. This is the best time for you to uh, discuss some kind of, uh, what we say, uh, discuss some kind of personal, like what things of personal interest with other people. And uh, sometimes be very open and sometimes be ruthless also to other people who are taking you for granted. You have to tell them that enough. Now let me speak. That is how you have to be. This is also the house of siblings. So some good news from siblings or some good news or some divine intervention from people around uh, your, uh, what do you say, around your community. Someone can give you very valuable advice. So take it very seriously. Then moon enters into the fourth house being exalted here. Lot of happiness in the house area. 
but little bit of stress in the area related to your work because of the debilitated aspect of moon happiness in the area related to your ji home wise very very nice auspicious things will be happening good things lot of happiness but work wise there can be some tension that will be coming to you every positive has a negative every negative has a positive so positive is very happy home environment some gains from mother also and here some kind of problems in the work area so balance it if you know it now try to balance it but overall a uh, good week beginning of the week okay end of the week very good uh, if you talk about bigger planets lagna lord is in the lagna in direct motion in satvisha nakshatra lot of healing lot of healing that is happening internally you are trying to become a very good human being this year saturn's year on the other hand a uh, bigger planet like jupiter in the third house putting aspect uh, you know on your seventh house increasing your status aspect on the ninth house your destiny is working for you and aspect on the 11th house biggest to biggest goals that you want to achieve will be achieved before may of this year that is what your stars say now depends on your dasha and antar dasha as well rahu and ketu ketu especially in the 8th house very careful about your health man because it can cause lot of health issues lot of health problems unseen health problems what is ketu unseen ketu is something that is not seen ghost you know roji any kind of ghost to come and comes on you any kind of nazar wazar all this evil eye everything is ketu because it cannot be seen and rahu is everything that <clears throat> you can feel and see but cannot express anxiety i got some i was in vancouver with you when when i was going through mars and rahu dasha that time no doctor could understand me what i am going through because it was there like it they could see that i am anxious but they, they did they did not know why because of mars and rahu combination glitter combination and i was i was i used to cry and my wife used to laugh at me saying that you are the most tough person i know and you are i was crying like a baby saying that i want to mm. go to india i want to go back to india and that is when astrocatography i did and mm. came um, to calgary and now it is minus 50 outside here man it is so crazy mm. but i still love it i was on road from 3 o'clock 2 o'clock in the afternoon till 8:30 173 mm. kilometers i drove in snow but i was happy there is no problem this is what the area the astrocatography also means that when you stay in the area where your energy is right every even the difficult if difficult times turns positive for you mm-hmm. so rahu is something that is unseen and second house is speech un, uh, sorry something that is seen and something that you can feel but you cannot express ketu is something that is unseen you cannot express you cannot know or you cannot you won't even know that there is some kind of problem that you are going through so someone who's possessed does not know he's possessed you know that roji kisi ke upar bhoot aa gaya someone kisi ne bhoot dal diya so mm-hmm. that person does not know that i have ghost inside me mm-hmm. yeah, so that means it is unseen that is ketu and mm-hmm. someone who knows that ghost is coming and going inside me that is rahu that i know that i has some kind of problem in which i can feel but i cannot express so mm-hmm. anyways best of luck for aquarius ascendant people for this week hopefully very very great time for you i wish you all the best and pranam whatsapp link is in the description you can click on it and come and talk to me and we can have a lot of good conversations with each other pisces ascendant roji now sun enters capricorn on 15th of january but before that let's talk about the 12th house and 12th house is where saturn and moon are sitting uh, it could have caused it is vish yoga right poisonous yoga so it could have caused some problem to you your family member or some kind of money that you might have spent without any reason without zero reason and this is what or some legal trouble might have come to you in your home or your family or your friend that is with you out of nothing you have to pay the money so that kind of thing could have happened to pisces ascendant people in the last week or last 10 12 days because this was the kind of uh, saturn is still in the 12th house right for you and every week every two weeks moon will come here that is how it is now sun will enter into capricorn now sun is entering into the uh, 11th house here the owner of the 6th house in the 11th house not a pleasant time though it's health wise some kind of trouble in your uh, especially in your legs area you can get some hurt or some problem uh, you know you some goals which you have set for you that this is the goal i want to achieve 
may be achieved but maybe not fully achieved. like it can be like higher goals was like to get 20000 dollars this week but that will only be 5000 dollars that can happen okay <clears throat> workplace wise there is going to be very good uh, growth in the workplace like there is going to be good um, uh, traction but conversion can be little less and that is because of uh, venus again uh, before that moon will enter into pisces rohit because it is entering into the lagna so your mind will be completely into illusion here this whole week because of uh, rahu and moon combination whenever rahu and moon will have a combination your brain goes crazy you will be thinking all negative stuff that is what you have to avoid this week everything is temporary you know it's only for 2 2 3 3 days then it changes 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 so temp your brain you have to train this time that not to get into any wrong area of your life or not to think very negative about your career or your relationships okay this is the time uh later on venus will enter into sagittarius now <clears throat> the eighth house lord sitting third from itself and the uh third house lord so it in, in this sign roji venus becomes exalted in pisces by the way but if you see the placement of venus they have two houses that is the second third house of extreme hard work courage problem troubles obstacles and the eighth house of sudden ups and downs accidents death and so many things man law job loss uh, positively eighth house is the house of inheritance eighth of the house of gains from insurance gains from partnerships uh, something like that in the career area it is going so there is going to be struggle man and your communication especially will be the challenge here lot of communication in the 10th house and eight from uh, you know third from the 8th house again some ups and downs or trouble because of your communication that will happen because rahu and moon are also sitting together so the best idea or advice for you is to be quiet and do vishnu sahasra naam completely all the time wear any stone any dhaga nothing will happen only vishnu sahasra naam can help you save you it is the most powerful tool that is very underestimated only the thing is you need commitment 13 minutes on youtube raj lakshmi sanjay nova spiritual i always send that because that is the best vishnu sahasra in my life mm -hmm. so dedication is required but biggest to biggest problems will just go vanish when vishnu sahasra is mistaken moon enters into aries now things start becoming better 18th of december 18th of january onwards because here it is going to make a gaj kesari yog in the second house so wealth is going to be coming to pisces ascendant people some kind of money that was stuck with the family with your friends may come some good investments you can do during this time that is positive and very thirdly moon will enter into taurus roji into the third house and become exalted moon is the owner of the fifth house here you can expect some good communication from your children good money you can receive from your children or uh, education wise very very good education news also you can get uh, you have to be careful in traveling short distance travel can happen but that can if there is a long distance travel short distance means when you're going city wise like you're going to some other city or when you're going to some other country there can be some trouble expenses can become higher because of the bigger planets in your chart saturn in the 12th house making sure slowly slowly you know expenses are becoming high <clears throat> jupiter in the second house slowly slowly making your bank balance also bigger like richer you making you richer and rahu and ketu in your ascendant and your seventh house ketu in the seventh house can create trouble or distance in relationships and rahu in the lagna will make you a hero like it will say i am the hero man who the hell are you i am the boss here that is what is happening to pisces ascendant people all the best whatsapp link is in the description below for personal appointments uh, if you want click on it you will be directed to whatsapp and then we can speak here about your chart in detail all the best to ji thank you so much for your effort also Over to you. thank you uh, and uh, you know week full of surprises week full of good days because moon is also being exalted so we can imagine some good things for all ascendants thank you very much all the family members of ac astro your love your blessing i always see in comments 
always feel like you know communicating with you people keep commenting keep subscribing keep sharing this video with you near and dear so they also get benefit from this and those who want a personal consultation or want to talk with akash ji on a video consultation from any part of world they can do this description link there is a whatsapp link and there is a whatsapp number in the scroll and the mail id you can contact in your way or your team will contact you further thank you very much keep blessing thank you very much akash ji for your analysis and the hopes which you always give we'll meet you in some next video till then jai shri ram jai hind jai mahan om namah shivaya jai lakshmi